Hi and welcome back. So a little video, this one's called Three Reasons Why Sound Is A Wonderful Way To Meditate. So number one, it sounds pretty cool. I love that noise. I mean, for some, it's a bit like Vegemite or Marmite, you know. It could be quite grating. But for the most of us, that sound is incredibly relaxing. And as we close our eyes, and I'd love you just to do this just for the next moment, closing your eyes. And we just listen. So number one, it's awesome. It sounds fantastic. And if you've ever gone to a gong bath or anything like that where people are just playing this over and on, the vibration is going through you, it's incredibly calming. Again, a byproduct. It's incredibly calming. Yeah, so number two. When we do a sound practice, we're not trying to listen. Like right now when you're hearing my voice, you're probably realizing that you're not having to do much to hear me listen, or to, to listen to what I'm saying, not to hear me listen. You know what I mean. So, the same with sound, same with sound practice. You're not trying to hear the sound, you're relaxing, and the sound is naturally being formed in your ears and all the rest of it. There's no effort for you to be done. In fact, all you're trying to do is actually rest and do nothing, really. But that's maybe a few steps too far. So let's just practice again. This time, I just want you to relax and do nothing. Perfect. And now we're going to bring in the sound. Relax, do nothing. You still heard it okay, right? And now all we're trying to do is bring that attention all the way to the end of it. Beautiful, right? Number three is using the sound as your anchor. So a lot of people get taught about breath. So we, every time our mind will wander, it comes back to the breath. Every time our mind wanders, it comes back to the breath. The same thing is with the sound. It's like this constant reminder, because what often happens as we come and sit for practice, you'll hear, and as it's beginning to get softer and softer, oh, what was that email that I had to get done? Oh, that's right, it was to Mr. Such and Such. I've got to go and get them later and then, Oh yeah, meditating. Wonder what was for lunch later. I'm starting to get a little bit oh, meditating. And as we do this, every time, every bell that we listen to over and over again, it just allows us to begin to rest a little closer with the sound. You're not doing anything. Nothing exceptional has happened. You're not trying to get to some destination. You're just resting and letting the sound approach. We rest our attention to it. And just watch how it changes. And then Just watch how it changes. It gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So that is it. Sound meditation, wonderful form. Also incredibly important because guess what? You've got all around you. Sound, right? Everywhere. And that doesn't mean sort of closing your eyes as you're driving and hearing the bus go past. So this is a little disclaimer. Please do not close your eyes and listen to sound while you're driving or walking or riding a bike or doing any heavy listening or anything like that. 
No, but wherever we are, where we're at our desk, we can just hear the noises of people walking, the, the shuffling of sounds, the wisp of the wind, the crack of the thunder. And we can just enjoy and be with the sound. Now I'm going to give you a bonus tip. Sound will annoy you if you let it. So try your best not to get carried away with the good and the bad sounds. Just recognize all sounds the same. So I hope you enjoyed our video today. Three tips on improving your sound meditation. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear your comments. If there's another tip that you'd like to give, put it in there. I'll, I'll, I'll respond to it. I promise you that. But please like and subscribe. Uh, share it around. Um, please, I'd love to get this in front of as many people as possible. But thank you so much for your time and have an amazing rest of your day.